My acronym this year is VIBES. We want a good vibe in your portfolio in 2023. And what yeah. that stands for is uh, V is for value, I is for international, B is for bonds, and E is for energy. So if you're looking for funds to play this, when you're looking at value, Vanguard Value Fund is a great way of playing that. It's going to get a lot of your large cap values in there. For your international, you have two funds in here. Both are iShares funds. You can look at the iShares International ETF or the iShares Emerging Markets. Actually, I actually think both of those are good plays. So I cheated here. I have two funds for my one uh, for my one letter, but I'm going to go with it. Um, B is for bonds. Um, I don't have a specific fund here. I actually do not like bond funds. We like to own individual bonds. All of our clients, we use an institutional manager. If you don't have access to that, you can look at like laddering treasury bonds can be a good way of doing that. And E is for energy. Um, I didn't have a fund with an E, but we use MLPS. Um, these are your pipelines, and it's, it pays a really good dividend. It's almost at 6% right now. And I really like the way that these are going to work is it's not going to follow your oil prices as much as the demand is going forward. Right. So international versus emerging markets, is there a difference in terms of the kinds of countries in the international versus the emerging? I would imagine international has more developed countries. Yes. Yeah, so think of like Europe for yep. your developed international and emerging markets like China, Brazil, Russia, et cetera. Mm -hmm.